second bowl, I was hungry. <laughs> oh, it's not that. I was just remembering. Remembering what? Your hair. You wore it that way the first day you tutored me. You remember how I wore my hair the first day I tutored you? Of course. What else do you remember? I remember the ugly ass poncho that you oh wore. Oh my god, yes! You've made your feelings for that particular item clothing very clear. Come on. <laughs> tell me really. Well, um, let's see, these jeans, mm -hmm. you wore them the day we fell asleep in the park together. And uh, these shoes, you wore these the day we got stuck at the DMV for five oh. hours <laughs> while we waited for your new license, my last name on it. Mm. What about my shirt? You wore that shirt one morning when you sat in the living room and you're playing that Beatles song in your guitar. The sun just framed your face so perfectly. Blackbird. That was the name of the Beatles song you played. I remember more than you think. I can't believe I didn't notice this. This is the first dollar I ever earned in this cafe. And now it's ruined. Well, it's just a dollar. Don't you remember who gave it to me? Of course I do. I bought the first cup of coffee on the morning you opened. I had Lucas on one hip, Trey on the other. My parents <laughs> thought I was crazy, as did the rest of the town. Except for you. I'll never forget what you said. Anyone who thinks this is more than you can handle is less than the kind of person you need in your life. I can't believe you remembered that. Oh, please. I stayed up all the night before trying to figure out what I was going to say. How about a kiss instead of a coffee? over soon. I'm scared. Here, hold on to this. This way. I'll always be with you. It'll keep you safe. I promise. Now go to sleep. Said that you're not psychotic. I mean, a little disturbed, maybe. You think this is funny? No, what I think is, I think you're trying to sabotage us. Find any reason you can so you can end it. But you don't have to worry about getting hurt again. But the same words, Lucas. The exact same words. This is morning. That's when I spend the most time. You did good, Peyton. Both your moms would be proud of you.
Stage. How great is this, man, huh? <laughs> Look, I'm gonna go see if I can find Halo, okay? Okay. Right. This is cool. Hey, um, I need to talk to Brooke for a second, okay? You sure? Yeah, man, go. Alright. I'm sure you'll introduce me later. Brooke, you can't possibly think I could release a time capsule. Did I smash out the cornerstone? Maybe you pretended it was my windshield. All right, here's the thing. Yes, I saw the time capsule before it was broadcast all over school. But I was only trying to do it to help someone out. Someone who wanted to erase something they'd said. Who? I can't say. I swore I'd keep it a secret. And the time capsule wasn't supposed to be a secret? Brooke, I made a promise. Okay, let's say you did just go in to try to save somebody from something they said. What does that have to do with my recording? Why did you have to watch my time capsule? That's what I thought. Keith, Luke. I love you. Now go. Why don't you just hand me that gun, Jimmy, and we can just follow him out of here. I can't. Well, I'm not going to leave you here, son. I'm not going to do that, and I'll tell you why. Because I've been there. I've bought the gun, and I planned on using it, okay? I've been there. And I want to tell you something. It gets better. Not this. It can't. It does, Jimmy. That uh, pain in your stomach, that pain in your heart, it goes away. That voice in your head that's, that's saying there's no way out, it's wrong, Jimmy. Would you please, please just believe me, it gets better. It won't! Not after this! I can't take this back! I, I can't erase this! She's gonna die. You don't know that. I wanted, I wanted them to leave me alone. I just, I wanted them to like me. I understand, son. It's what we all want. That's all any of us wants. I'm not here. I'm not here. Jimmy, please. It's gonna be okay, son. It's gonna be okay. But it hurts. It hurts. It always hurts. I know. Please. Please. I'm sorry. Over here, Danny, I found something. It's a raven. What's wrong with it? I think its wing is broken. We can nurse him back to health. Come on, help me catch him. He'll fly again. You'll see. No! Why did you do that? Why'd you kill him? He was weak. I want to go home. I love to give them. Oh, that I had the wings of a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. My companion attacks his friends. He violates his covenant. His speech is smooth, yet war is in his heart. But you, O oh God, will bring down the wicked into the pit of corruption. 
bloodthirsty and deceitful men will not live out half their days. As for me, I trust in you. And now we ask for the strength to navigate the stages of our grief as we lay our brother Keith to rest. Stages of our grief, anger, fear, guilt, depression, acceptance. seeds of grave. See the green eyed monster on the shore playing all the night. I'd love to give them I guess everybody's just gonna change and go back to Karen's and people are definitely gonna change. to losing you again. They expected 200 people this week. They got like 2,000. People loved Keith, you know? 